Let me go through quickly how I create uh, timecode audio for the SLDZ1200 on Windows 10 without using a virtual machine. All right, so no Windows XP, everything's just native running on my Windows 10 box. First thing, of course, is having the right hardware. Um, not every SD card is going to work. The ones that I use are these one gigabyte SD card for Wii. All of the ones I've bought off of eBay that were uh, indicated for Wii have all worked fine. I have not had a single problem with them, and so far I have um, made uh, eight SD cards using um, these cards that that uh, that I got from eBay, um, SanDisk for Wii. Second thing you'll need is the special Panasonic SD card reader. In particular, you need the SD USB 3U, um, and this is the one that I got from eBay. Um, it comes with a tiny, <laughs> a, mi a mini CD that contains the drivers. You do need to install the drivers. Software-wise, the two things you'll need is you will need the drivers for the SD card reader that come with the SD card. And if you got the SD card reader without it, you'll have to get those drivers from the SD USB 3U drivers from somewhere else. And the second thing you'll need is version 2.4 of the SD jukebox, not the newer versions. Version 5, version 6, these do not work on Windows 10. You have to run those in um, a Windows XP virtual machine. However, SD jukebox 2.4 will work on Windows 10. It just has some uh, confusing behavior, which I'll go through. I'm now going to insert the SD card into the reader and that's going to trigger it to get mounted in Windows. Um, now, the funky thing about these encoded SDs is files will never show up in, um, in, uh, in Windows. And so I have no idea what condition this disk is in. So the first thing I'll do is format it. And I'll format it using the normal Windows format tool. Here, you can do whatever you want. Default allocation size is fine. Um, the key thing is you may want to put in a, a volume label, um, and that's okay so long as the volume label is eight characters or less. If the volume label is longer than eight characters, SD Jukebox will refuse to recognize this. So if I call this record box, that's way too long, right? I'm going to have to call this RK box. And then I will format that. Quick format is fine. Close that down. That's done. That's formatted. My RK box is here, ready to go. Now I will launch SD Jukebox version 2.4. Uh, it's popping up here. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is encode um, the WAV file I have into the Jukebox. Right? The Jukebox maintains an internal library stored somewhere on your, on your computer, and it keeps track of how many times um, different files have been written to SD card uh, as some kind of anti-piracy mechanism. Um, it doesn't matter to us <laughs> because I've got the WAV file. Uh, it is a little bit annoying that I want to put 40 copies of this WAV file onto, um, onto the one gig SD card. And rather than do the encode process 40 times, I, I, I'll, I'll do it in two batches of 20 um, using this um, use and made copies of the WAV file. So I'll click on convert, and then on the left side, this represents the, um, the files on my PC, and the right side represents playlists inside of um, the SD Jukebox software also on my computer. So I'm gonna go to browse here, and I'm gonna go into this record box timecode folder where I have all my 20 copies of timecode. I could do a select all, but actually, for expediency, I'm just going to do one. And because I've already done it into another folder, and I'm going to call this demo playlist. Um, I'm going to change this to high quality, and this will basically encode each of these WAV files to AACs. I'll hit start, and it'll take some time, right? 18 seconds. It's not super fast. Um, uh, this will take some time to. Uh, um, to encode if you have 20. And then what I did to create a playlist of 40 essentially is, I, is that I batch encoded um, this list of 20 twice. So now I'm done with the encoding. 
in real life, this would have taken a little bit longer because you would have done 20, 30, 40, right? A whole batch. Now we need to switch over to SD. Now this is where you figure out whether or not you have all the right hardware. So you have to click on this SD button. And if you had all the right hardware, meaning you have the right Panasonic writer and you have the compatible SD card, when you click on this, you'll see that you successfully switched to SD mode, right? Um, and I'll show you what happens if you have non-functional hardware in a bit. But let me walk through here. Now I am in the SD um, card. And what I need to do is I need to hit check out, right? Check out to SD memory card. And this lets you check out items from your library to uh, playlists in your library to your SD card. So I can check out, for instance, demo, the one I just created has one. Now this is actually not, and you'll notice there's a, there's a number here, the number of checkouts you have left. It keeps track of how many times you've copied a file to SD card. I'm gonna do, um, okay, I'm just gonna actually, this could take too long. So let me just do the demo, all right? I can select all. And then hit start and it goes checking out. And this is just basically copying this file to the SD card. And there it is. Now, how do I know that this worked correctly? The only way to know is to put this into the SLDZ 1200. Because here, in my, in, when I go to D, right, go to RK box, folder still looks empty, right? I can't tell that anything has changed here. I mean, as far as I can tell, nothing has changed, right? Um, what I can see here is that, okay, there is a playlist um, because on the file, I can go here to list. And when I click on list, this lets me see what's on the SD card. The SD card has one playlist. There's always a default playlist. And this playlist has one file um, in it. Um, now I can go back to PC. Let me eject the SD card. And I'm going to put in the 32 megabyte card that I used to upgrade the firmware on the SLDZ 1200. So I'm going to put that card in and Windows recognizes it just fine. However, this card, for whatever reason, I do not know, <laughs> will not actually work with the SD jukebox. Um, I can go through and do the same thing. I'm going to format this guy, all right, and I'll call this, right, um, demo, quick format it. And that's fine, all done. When I click on SD, it goes different file system, open the settings and format SD. If you get this message, doesn't work. Settings has a button here to format SD card. This doesn't work. It always gives you this format error in use by another application. This does not work. Regular Windows format um, works fine on these, um, on these Wii SD cards. Other SD cards, um, and I bought a bunch. Um, they just do not work. Um, this will not work. But if I eject the card, I'm ejecting the card now. I'm going to put back in the one gig Wii card that I put the worker box in. Right here's RK box. Pops up. Folder looks empty. When I go over to the SD card, I see that it no errors when I flip over to SD. That's key. Once I flipped over to SD and there's no errors, then I'm I'm good, right? I can I see I have the list here. Now, um, should I want to um, uh, put something different on to this card? There's a reverse process for you to check files back into the library because if I just erase this card without checking the file back in, I'm going to have to re-encode that file because uh, this control signal one on my whoops on my PC has been checked out. Um, there's only, um, sorry, uh, check out. Demo, you'll see there's only two checkouts left on this guy. I, you can check out each file only three times. So now I will check this back in by going to list and I've got the file selected and you can with some limitations shift click check in check out multiple items at once and go check in and now I'm done here 
And now I'm going to do what I initially needed to do uh, before I thought to make this video is I'm going to check out the 40 um, record box um, uh, time code that I encoded previously. I encoded 40. I encoded 40 of them. Select all. And I will create um, a new playlist. The playlist here does not matter. Um, you only really want one playlist, um, and um, and it'll just play in order. It's all the same file anyway. Um, I'll hit start, and these get written to the SD card. Right, this will take some time, but all of this is done in Windows 10 without using a VM. Um, and I find this is the easiest way to um, to create these cards, even though version 2.4 of the jukebox is kind of clunky.